I'm really excited to watch the Hunger Games Catching Fire movie, so I decided to recreate Jennifer Lawrence makeup. This look is so easy to do and it doesn't require many products at all. Remember to improvise and use what you already own and the makeup will be just as gorgeous. Start off with an eyeshadow base like a paint pot or an eye primer and go over it with an eyeshadow close to your skin tone. Take a tape and stick it on your hand first to make the glue less aggressive. Place it on the outer part of your eyes like this. Now you can start patting the eyeshadow on your lids. Bring the shadow very high up on the edges and then blend away. It's better to do this in several steps if you're not sure how high you want to go. So just pat on and blend out until you're happy with the shape. For the liner, I'm using the black eyeshadow as Jennifer is wearing a very subtle smudged eyeliner. Track the edge of the tape and you will get that perfect cat line. It's so simple. Highlight the blank area below brows with the light shimmery color. Next line your waterline with the black. Now it's time for the trick with the tape again. Place it slightly below the eyeshadow edge like this. Katniss has another straight line extended from the lower lash line, so trace the edge with the black eyeshadow again. Color the space between the two lines with a white eyeliner and apply some white eyeshadow on top to set it. Clean any fallout with your concealer and highlight the tear dot area with white color to brighten up your face. Katniss is also wearing a very subtle gold glitter on her eyelids. So I'm taking hairspray which will be my glitter glue and tapping it on the lids. On top, place just a small amount of glitter. First apply mascara and since Jennifer Lawrence is certainly wearing some fake lashes in the movie, I'm applying mine as well. For me the easiest way is to apply it just using hands as I feel I have more control than using tweezers. Jennifer's skin looks quite bronze when she's wearing this makeup, so I needed to be generous with bronzer on my pale skin. On the cheeks, a neutral peachy shade will work great to warm up your complexion. Stay away from reds and pinks, it's enough to have them on the lid. Line the lips with a neutral shade and apply a nude lipstick. And there you have it, the makeup is complete. Red and bright pink eyeshadows may look frightening at the first glance, but as you can see you can make them look very glamorous and wearable. I would wear this makeup for different occasions, like a rock concert or party with friends. I hope you enjoyed this red smoky eye makeup tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when I upload my next video.